Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, I am of course doing my money in the bank predictions video, but I'm not alone. I'm here with Steph, the rightful Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. The rightful Intercontinental Champion. We, there were meant to be more people, but I mean, some people nah, just- Paperwork. Paperwork. But paperwork is what it is. We're going to go through each match on the card and we're going to list our winner reasons as to possibly why and any bullshit that's going to go on during the match. Steph, how are you today? I'm good, mate. I'm good, mate. I'm good, mate. I'm ready to oh, I'm, I'm excited. He's excited. This will be probably a traditional thing where I have someone else with me doing this instead of me being by myself. Or multiple uh, people. Or multiple people, especially for SummerSlam. Steph, what should the people do if they're what watching? What should the people do? What should they do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? I don't know. Do they like and subscribe? They should. They should like and subscribe. They should like and subscribe to Dawkins Temkin and follow and follow Steph Gozo Four on Twitch. Come on, on yeah. Twitch. He streams Coach. Counter Strike where he gets hacked. <laughs> yeah, I stream. <laughs> <laughs> he gets hacked. Yeah, bad. Um, but you know. this ain't about Counter Strike. This ain't about Twitch. Let's go into the card where we're going to start off with the bloodline of, and we don't know who the hell the three are going to be in the match, whether it's Fatu <laughs> or whether it's Tungaloa, but it's going to be the bloodline consisting of Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu, Tungaloa, and Tamatonga versus Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens. Now, fight Owens fight. Fight Owens fight. I, this could go 50-50. I don't know what you've said. I've gone with the bloodline. He's family up. Oh, the thing is, that's not the bloodline that you're supporting. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm what I'm saying? <laughs> I regret what I, I regret my decisions. Yeah. Rip, rip Paul Heyman. Rip Paul Heyman. Wow. I can't believe he like, got no sleep for the, for the part. Oh, my goat. A, damn. When was that released? My goat. I don't know, but I bought it and now it's here. <laughs> there, you there you go. Well, yeah, I'm going the bloodline. Um, Me too. I. This may be controversial. I think Solo should pin Cody. I think because it's obviously leading to Solo versus Cody at SummerSlam. Yeah, that's I, the, yeah, I agree as well. So I think maybe have Solo pin him and be like, oh, you know, I did the thing. And then they're going to have a match. <laughs> you know what I mean? I did the thing. I did the thing. I pinned the champion and then, yeah, I don't know. That's just me. What do you reckon about that? I think Big Jakey is gonna, Big Jake of Fatu is gonna fucking just turn it to Prime Brock Lesnar. Prime just fucking <laughs> eat everyone. The thing is, that's if he's allowed in the country, because obviously, you know, <laughs> <laughs> obviously he's got criminal history, which might stop him from entering uh, Canada. So that is. Is that real? Yeah. That is, well, oh, well to enter overseas. So he, he definitely will never be able to it's go to like. It's not even kayfabe. No, no. He, <laughs> like, <Okay>. the, reason, <laughs> the reason might be kayfabe as to why people are saying he, like, killed someone. He didn't. He didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he didn't. He, um, <coughs> I think he's, like, he robbed a store or something when he was 18 or something like that. But, nice. something like that. I don't know. He's a changed man. But it's man, okay yeah. because he loves <laughs> Solo Sokoa. <laughs> <laughs> you see that one guy on TikTok that keeps doing his dance? Just. Going around <laughs> the camera. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, my microphone cut out. So it's going to happen a couple more times where you see this version of me because I don't know what's wrong with this microphone, but it is what it is. So the next match on the card is between the champion Sami Zayn and Braun Breaker. So obviously Steph is the rightful Intercontinental Champion here. It's actually me versus Braun Breaker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do you have you got? I've got Sammy retaining. I think it's too soon for Brom Breaker to win. Yeah, that's fair. Might cut out again, but I picked Brom Breaker. He's, he's such a mod. Like, I don't, I can't, like, I don't know. I'm I'm split. I don't know who to pick, honestly. Yeah. A lot of these matches are very hard to tell between. Yeah. Yeah, very. So, I, I've gone Bron mainly because it's in Canada. What way can we generate heat for Brom Breaker? He beats the beloved Canadian. For the title, I don't think it'll be a squash match, like people are saying. People are saying, oh, he should just yeah. spear him and win in a minute. Imagine, <laughs> like the fucking Asian people. The... Who... No offense to Asians, <laughs> but... <laughs> all, the, all the Asians that he fucking folded like yeah. so long. 
Yeah, I... Mm, like, and I'm not saying this, you know, f- so Sami Zayn gets buried, but I don't think he's... Like, he's had great matches with Chad Gable, but I don't think he's lived up to, obviously, Gunther's title reign. Um, actually, you know what I can do? Bring up my uh, intercontinental title here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is obviously the title they will be fighting for. Not this exact one, but this design. Steph's got the better designed one. Let's all admit that now in the comments. I've Say got, it. I've got the ro- I've got the Cody. Ro- yeah, Whoa. thanks, Whoa. thanks, thanks, OBS. I think it'll be Bron. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think it'll be a squash unless they do a thing where Sammy like beats him due to like a roll up or something, and then he wins at SummerSlam. I'd be okay with that, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like I beg to differ. That's fair. That's fair. what. Do you think it'll be clean, or do you think like? I think it it'll, it'll be like the way he beat um, Gunther at WrestleMania, where he'll, he'll just, just be get like, absolutely killed. bashed. <laughs> yeah, he'll get he'll get bashed, and then Braun will be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna kill this fucking cunt," and yeah. Sam Zayn just gonna pull Hogan <laughs> back into Hulk the match. Yeah, and. Just, Whoever kicks and let's see it one, two, three, retain. Well, there you go. We're split on that one. We move on to a very decisive world title match between Damian Priest, the champion, versus Seth Rollins for the world heavyweight championship. (laughs) (laughs) I've got Seth winning. I don't think so, man. Yeah, I've. I don't know. I don't know. It's... Why? 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 I want to hear. I want to hear. Why. So obviously, let's let's address the elephant in the room. Um, no, Mark's not here. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Damien Priest lo- loses. He leaves the Judgment Day. If Seth Rollins loses, he can't compete for the world title while Pri- Priest is champion. I don't know why. I think they are setting up Bala to cost Priest the title and then uh, which then leads um, to okay. which then leads to the SummerSlam match and I also think that Gunther versus Seth is a better match um, to sell than Damian Priest versus Gunther for the title plus it gives Seth something to do at SummerSlam he can hold the title for a month again until Gunther kills him yeah I honest to God just I don't know why I think Seth's just winning I don't know why see these my my thinking, right? Yeah. I forgot to, to be honest. Forgot about Gunther. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking, Priest wins, mm. but they set up Priest versus Finn at SummerSlam. So we've both gone for Priest Finn at SummerSlam, but you forgot that yeah. Gunther has a world title match. <laughs> yeah, has a world title match. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think it will lead to Priest versus Finn. I think they'll even build that. Maybe have something like Priest gets written off TV until the Rumble comes back, and then they push that feud even further into Mania. But oh, yeah. but I think there will be a uh, what's it called a Finn Balor match at SummerSlam, and it obviously can't be for the world title. So I think Seth by default has to win. But who have you gone with? Have, have you gone with Seth? You gone I've with? gone with Damien Priest retaining. That's because you forgot about Gunther. Yeah. But I'm still going to go with Priest retaining. Unless unless they do something like the winner of the Money in the Bank just cashes in like the next night. I think, that, I think that'll be the main event. You think Priest, Priest-Seth will be main event? Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. But j- because of what Drew McIntyre said on, on Raw, my brain is like, okay, like it makes sense that that's going to be the main event. But we'll get to Drew McIntyre later. But yeah, I I've gone with Seth. You've gone with, <laughs> <laughs> you've gone with Priest. All of these matches are not easy to predict. So like you could have gone yeah, no. backlash. Of course, Cody's beating AJ Styles. Uh, fucking. Of course, Sami Zayn isn't losing the title to Chad Gable or Bronson mm. Reed at fucking thing. Like it's been simple matches so far. This is the first pay per view where it's very unpredictable. Since Mania, yeah. Yeah. So, that's that's my world title preview. Also, they do have to still verse me for the title at, yeah. at um, Survivor Series. <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. We'll move on to the women's money in the bank ladder match between Io Sky, Chelsea Green, Lyra Valkyria, Tiffany Stratton, Naomi, and Zoe Stark. Who have you got? 
You've got It's Tiffy time. It's Tiffy time. <laughs> <laughs> I have gone I've gone with Tiffany Stratton as well. It's her time. It is the thing is I'll I'll do, you know just sit in the middle. There you go, Tiffy. There is I think only three people in this match that can win the title. EO is not gonna win it back to back. Let's be real. And she's plus she can just go and be like, I'm challenging for the world title now. And no one's gonna yeah, that's Steve's. That's thanks, obvious. And no one's gonna be like, <laughs> no one's gonna be like, oh, I guess no. you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I think Naomi once can do the exact same thing. She could just be like, hey, I'll um, I'll I'd like to challenge for the world title, and no one, no one would be like, yeah, no, you can't. And plus, Toby Stark, I just don't think should hold the title. The the the, the, <laughs> brief, the briefcase just at the moment, which then leaves Lyra, Tiffy, and Chelsea Green. And I think it is perfect for both Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton to hold the briefcase. We need that long briefcase holder for the women where it's just a bitch that holds it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I've gone with Tiffany Stratton. Plus, I love Tiffany Stratton. I mean, I bought a figure for no reason. She is that bitch. She is that bitch. But at the same time, <laughs> it could also be Chelsea because it seems like Tiffany Stratton is going to have a tag title run with Nia Jax at some point. So... Oh, true. Yeah, you've gone with Tiffy. Any thought? Yeah. Any? I mean, I can see if Chelsea Green wins, <laughs> she'll she'll cash in and be a failed cash in. That's what I'm gonna you say. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon she won't oh. win her cash in. Oh, but it'd be funny though. <laughs> it'd be <laughs> so funny to have her as champion. Oh, and Naomi can't win because she's not gonna cash in on Bailey. Well, that's the they're thing. Friends. Well, that's the thing. I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> Um, that's the thing. You, you got to remember, Bailey is losing the title at SummerSlam to Nia Jax. So you got to remember. Has that. to, yeah. Zoe Stark, she's in a tag team. She doesn't need it. Yeah. Um, Io Sky, she's good enough of a wrestler, like what you said. She's yeah. already good enough of a wrestler. She doesn't need the money in the bank. Mm. Um, did she win it last year? Yeah, she did. She did Sorry. win it last year. And Lyra Valkyria, she's a good wrestler, but she's it's still too early, like with Bron Breaker. Yeah, like maybe next year she can win it. Yeah, but like yeah. But yeah, it's Tiffy time or Chelsea Green, bro. It's none, none, no one else. No one no else. One, if someone else wins, I'm punching <laughs> the TV, bro. Yeah, I, look, now that I've said what I've said about Tiffy's tag title run, I am kind of swaying more towards Chelsea Green, but I'm not changing my pick. Tiffany Stratton yeah. is my pick. Yeah. So, I'm going to acknowledge her real quick. Acknowledge, <laughs> acknowledge the Tiffy time. Acknowledge the... <laughs> <laughs> acknowledge the... <laughs> All right, let me move on to... The last match on the card, the men's money in the bank. Or obviously, can we just preface, we're filming this Wednesday night. So, um, NXT has just happened. Something might get announced on SmackDown for the pre-show. We don't know. All right. If it does, it does. It is what it is. But the men's money in the bank consists of Jey Uso, Carmelo Hayes, Andrade, Chad Gable, La Knight, and Drew McIntyre. I have yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of reasoning for my pick, but I want to hear yours first, who you've got. I'm going to change mine, actually. Ooh. My initial pick was Drew Mac. Yeah. But I feel like everything's going so well and so bad, he's, like, he's just the roller coaster. Something needs to hit him right quick. He needs, yeah. a, he needs something else because he murdered CM Punk. Yeah. That as well. Killed him. I'm going to pick... It's hard, eh? It is. Because <laughs> Jay just puts everyone over and never wins. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Andrade is uh, Andrade. Yep, he's Andrade. M- M- Master Gable, if he gets money in the bank, they'll be fucking killer. <laughs> yep. LA Knight. Um, uh, who else did I say? Just LA Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What, he's going to cash in on Logan Paul for the US title, mate? That's a, US, exactly. that's a SummerSlam match right there. Exactly. It's hard. Like, it's genuinely hard. I, I'm just going to put Master Gable. Master Gable? Master Gable. That's like, that's fair. Now, I'm going to go through and say reasons why I don't think these superstars will win it. A lot of these superstars here have problems outside of this match. Okay. Drew has the Punk problem, and I think Punk will screw him over in this match. LA Knight has the Logan Paul problem, who I think will screw him over in this match. Chad Gable has the white six trying to kill him. I don't <laughs> I don't think he's winning that match. 
<laughs> Jey Uso could be screwed over by the bloodline. You got to keep that in the back of your head. You never know what they could be building, which yeah, theoretically leaves two wrestlers in Carmelo Hayes and Andrade. But he is the poster child for the pay per view. It's time for him to win something. I'm going with Jay Uso. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with I'm Jay. I'm not opposed to that, bro. He has gangster. So, obviously, we're getting Punk, Drew, SummerSlam, even though Punk just died. Um, we're obviously getting LA Knight versus um, Logan Paul for the US title at SummerSlam. Chad Gable has feuds with Otis and the Wyatt Six upcoming. He doesn't need to win this. It'd be nice for him to, but he doesn't need to. I, I say with Otis, also Tazawa, also uh, the Creed Brothers and whatnot. Andrade hates his booking. All he does is complain on Twitter, so he won't win. Does he actually? Yeah, he does. That's all he does. Do. He's literally tweeted that he doesn't like his booking already. Carmelo Hayes is... Don't get me wrong. Melo's my favorite wrestler. Or one of my favorite wrestlers. He, he will win it next year, I reckon. I reckon... Yeah. Who even knows? Next year, Braun Breaker might be the champion. You might cash in on Braun Breaker. Who fucking knows? Right? Depends on, depends on how they, they push Braun. But I think it's too early for Melo. And Jey Uso is the poster child... I think it'd be a it'd be bad not to not to give Jay the the title. Then I think that's a failed cash in because then the bloodline will screw him over, which people might not like, but it makes sense. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But I that that is how I would do, that's how I would book Jay. So I wouldn't have him win the world title because. Who's going to beat Gunther? No. Who's going to beat Cody? See, I can't picture like a nice Money in the Bank holder. Every time, every time I think of Money in the Bank, I think of the most scummy wrestler yeah. holding that shit. Yeah. Except for Big E. And Jey Uso is the opposite of scummy. Well, except for Big E. That too. Yeah. But um, yeah, I... I like how I would book Jey Uso's Money in the Bank win. Wins it. Holds it. Until maybe before the Rumble, maybe just before, maybe just before Summer, uh, Survivor Series, cash mm. is in or tries to cash in on Gunther fairly because you know he's all about yeet, so he he won't he won't try and bullshit his way out of it because Gunther will <laughs> like Gunther will be like you're not a man unless you challenge me in a normal match, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I just have. Jay gets screwed over by Solo or Jacob Fatu during that match, leading to Gunther's um, retain of the title. And then, you know, you build to whatever you want to fucking build to with the bloodline up until WrestleMania from then. But that is what I would go for. Because well, obviously you got War Games as a five series. So, true. Reigns comes back. When he comes back, my, my PC will explode. <laughs> when this guy comes back. Roman. I, don't, I don't have any. I've, I've got two. Roman. I've got two. He's got the jumper though, so that makes up for it. But so <laughs> let's ju- let's just reiterate one more time. Who have you got for the bloodline match? Bloodline. The bloodline. Bloodline. Who have you got for the Intercontinental Championship match? Sami Zayn retainal. Who have you got for the world title match? Priest retainal. Who have you got for the women's money in the bank? Tiffany Stratton, my my wife, your wife, sorry, my wife, wife, my wife. Yeah, and I who? Apologize. That's all right. Next time. Uh, and who have you got for the men's money in the bank? Master Gable. Master Gable. I've got the bloodline. I've got Bron. I've got Seth. I've got Tiffy. And I've got Drew. Uh, Drew. I've got Jay. So we're a bit split on some of them. Um, <laughs> except for yeah, except much. for the women's money in the bank and the bloodline match. So, yeah. hey, let's... Well, we're not going to react to these predictions. I guess we might say something during the SummerSlam ones. But Steph will be here for the SummerSlam predictions. So stay tuned for that. But that is it from us, ladies and gentlemen. Let us know your predictions. Let us know what you think is very stupid of us, like, for example, the Bloodline winning or Seth Rollins winning. I don't know. But we never know. You know well, we will on Sunday slash Saturday. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you guys all in the next one. Bye for now. It's just me, you. <laughs>